So we, after we finish teaching Synchroscript, Script, and then we can uh, move forward and then talk about uh, task quantity in Synchro. So there is a term for it in Synchro. It is actually called physical quantity. Related to physical quantity, we can set the task duration type to physical quantity de dependent. As long as we have the quantity, physical quantity for the task, and um, a production rate, which is called rules in Synchro, applied to the, to the task, then we'll be able to quickly set the um, task durations based on the quantity and production rates. So let's take a look. So first of all, we can take a look at this, um, uh, steal this file that we have worked on. So what we can see right now is that, um, so there are two columns that has been added in the task table, okay? So you can look for them as well. If you go to customize columns, you can find physical quantity and physical quantity unit. So uh, to uh, so we can since we have learned script, we can quickly run a script to um, okay to set the physical quantity for um, to set the physical quantity for the selected task based on this number that came from uh, the 3D models, right? So we can actually quickly do that. So let's use this selected task as an, as an example. Again, here I have a task selected, and I'm trying to set the property for its physical quantity. Okay, so this thing looks qu quite weird, but it is actually physical quantity for Synchro, that particular property field. Okay, and in the meantime, I have to set physical quantity unit so that I know when I say this is 225, and the unit is the cubic meter. So let's take a look at this one. Um, so I'm going to close it. Again, I'm going to select all of the tasks, right, and then go to Synchro Script, and then hit Preview. Now you can see if I hit Run, so both of the task properties are, task property columns, physical quantity and physical quantity unit, they're written. Okay, after that I can close it. So right now, if I select any individual tasks, right, um, so we can go to task properties and then take a look at the type of uh, the duration type. So uh, the duration type by default is set to fix. That pretty much tells you there is no relationship between physical quantity and rules and, uh, and also my task duration. So if you use that option, you will need to manually key in the durations. Okay, that duration has no relationship with physical quantity. Okay, that which is a task quantity. Okay, right now, if I am going to select all of these, all of the tasks, this time I'm going to set the duration type to physical quantity dependent. Okay, after I apply the duration, after I set the, switch the duration type to physical quantity dependent, I can see there is no change uh, in my schedule, right? That's because you know, although I've switched to the setting, there's nothing to be computed as I don't have production rate set up. So production rates in Synchro is actually something called, um, let me see, okay, so maybe here, uh, where is it? Wait, it should be something called rules, but I cannot find it for some reason. Mm, okay, so I didn't really see it. So rules, which is right here. Okay, so in here, this is where I can set up rules for certain tasks and also resources, I believe. So here I'll type in a description, concrete. Okay, that's kind of going to be like the parent of my rule. And I'll right select it and then right click on it and then choose add another one. So I'll say historic concrete rate. Okay, I'll set the rate to be 10 cubic meter. So I, this has to be exactly the same as the task, uh, a physical quantity unit. Otherwise, after the rate is applied to the task, it won't be computed. Let me go ahead and then add another rule and then say aggressive concrete rate. And for this one, I'm assuming that I'll be using two crews. 
and then and then it'll be working so and then I'll set the unit per hour to cubic meter okay then if I go back to Gantt so I can select these tasks right and then go back to task properties here I can set the task rule to historic concrete rate okay so when I switch to this uh, uh, task rule okay so let me take a step back Okay, when I switch to this task rule, you need to pay attention to the duration. Because right now the duration, since it's physical quantity dependent duration type, duration will be adjusted based on physical quantity and the rules apply. So let me do that again. You can see some of the duration have been set to like three days, some of them have been set to seven days. Okay, so let's take a look at those again. So I'm going to assume, okay, so some of the, the slab will have a more aggressive rate than the column. So I'm going to just select all of the slab or roof or, uh, uh, you know, um, those sort of activity. And for those tasks, I'll apply a more aggressive concrete rate. Okay, so you can see the duration is kind of uh, reduced to half. Okay, so although, so the duration is showing you uh, like a, a um, integer number, uh, in reality, it's actually probably most likely, you know, three days, uh, f uh, 50 minutes or something like that. Okay, in that case, in those cases, uh, this is not showing the exact duration because of the, my uh, duration display setting, which can be found here uh, in general, duration display format. So if I set it to like days, hours, and minutes, I'll be able to see them. Okay, so in that case, you may think, okay, I don't want to, so this gives me a good idea to start with for my durations. Now I need to round up, uh, round, round up and round down, right? So in that case, uh, I want to show that, okay, so you cannot really change the duration right away. Okay, so let's say I want to round it up to three days I'll, and then I'll key in three, right? So if I hit enter, you'll see the physical quantity uh, property will be adjusted accordingly. Okay, that's because the, the duration type is still physical quantity dependent. So what you should do is to select everything, okay, and then switch it back to fixed. Okay, right now, when you change the duration, like round up or round down, right, so it would no longer affect the physical quantity uh, for that, those particular tasks. Okay, so this is pretty much the session uh, for physical quantity dependent. We talked about a new duration type, which is called physical quantity dependent. And then we can also, um, you know, we also introduce rules, how to set up those rates, how to apply to those tasks, and then how to switch back to fix and then uh, round up or round down your durations. Okay, hope you like it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.